The OSCE Parliamentary Assembly started 2020 with an ambitious agenda of activities, which soon had to adapt to the realities of life under the COVID-19 pandemic. Before the lockdown in the spring, the PA members observed parliamentary elections in Azerbaijan, conducted diplomatic visits to the United States and Greece, and participated in the PA's annual winter meeting in Vienna. In mid-March, the OCE PA International Secretariat began working remotely and soon started making announcements of cancelled meetings and the suspension of activities such as election observation. The PA launched a series of thematic parliamentary web dialogues dealing with various aspects of the pandemic. The first web dialogue was held on 22nd of April on the economic security fallout of the pandemic. Subsequent webinars were held on the pandemic's effects on conflicts in the OC area, human rights and democratic governance, counter-terrorism, gender issues, environmental aspects of the pandemic, protecting refugees and migrants under the lockdown, and the COVID-19 response in diverse societies. An overriding theme of the parliamentary web dialogues was that parliamentarians play an essential role in promoting good governance and enhancing dialogue on the international level. Participants also stressed that the pandemic has underlined the urgency of addressing long-standing challenges facing the OCE area. The highlights of the parliamentary web dialogues were included in a report published in mid-July. The PA Bureau also held a discussion with the head of the Belarusian OCPA delegation and the exile leader of the opposition that focused on the importance of building dialogue in the wake of the disputed presidential election on 9th of August. Members of the OCPA Ad Hoc Committee on Migration also met online with European Commission representatives and Greek Migration and Asylum Minister Nortis Mitarakis to discuss the upcoming EU Migration and Asylum Pact and the situation on Lesbos following the fires that destroyed the Moria camp in early September. When fighting broke out in the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict zone, President Zaratelli was in regular contact with parliamentarians from Armenia and Azerbaijan, including both countries' speakers of parliament. Throughout the year, the OCPA members contributed their political experience, judgment and visibility to election observation missions, working closely with the OCE, ODIR and other international partners. The OCPA deployed observers to four countries in 2020, Azerbaijan, Montenegro, Georgia and the United States of America. In December, President Zaratelli addressed the 27th Ministerial Council. We want to make full use of the OEC potential to help build a safer and more stable future for us all. This already has the support of so many present and former senior OEC leaders. Political support and adequate resources should be provided to all executive structures and in particular in the activities of the OEC institutions. This would enhance efforts to protect human rights and fundamental freedoms, achieve gender equality, promote tolerance and non-discrimination, protect media freedom and more broadly the stability of our diverse societies and to strengthen democratic institutions in all participating states. On the sidelines of the Ministerial Council, the OCPA presented its initiative entitled OCE Call for Action, reaffirming a common purpose. Endorsed by the 51 former OCE chairpersons in office, presidents of the OCPA, secretaries general and other heads of institution of the OCE. The OCEPA's call for action intends to raise awareness in capitals and will be a starting point for a number of events that the OCPA intends to promote to revitalize the role of the OCE.